Life will never be easy, but the path straight forward will always be simple. Let's get started. So a wolf having a podcast is kind of a nice thing to see because it's always nice to see your friends branch out and do things they want to try and enjoy. I think the podcast is very like uh, informative and very insightful. The thing I like about it most about the podcast itself is how raw it is. Like there's no scripts, it's all, you know, improv. It's very nice to me that you feel you can be this sensitive with your community. It's touching, honestly. The hardest walk you can make is the walk you make alone, but that is the walk that also makes you the strongest. Wolf brought something inside of me that I never felt before. A friendship that I knew instantly that I could go to. I love the podcast, it's very funny. Get me out here. All right, man, I should take some uh, take some water here before I actually start. Oops, excuse my goodness. <clears throat> oh, man. Oof, I was actually uh, actually recording for this for a, uh, a promotional video, actually. It was a collab that I believe is out on TikTok that I made with uh, Hyro. Um... Quite the uh, fun experience there. I haven't edited a video properly like that in a long time. I could say uh, that little video you know, is about maybe two minutes long, and yet that took me about, <laughs> what was it, like three hours to edit, maybe four? Oof. But hey, you know what? Things will never be easy. But that video, well, it was a simple concept to say the least. Speaking of which, that is something I did want to uh, speak out to you about today. It's something I think needs to be heard. Something I tend to say pretty often to the friends of mine that I have around, and whenever they're coming around to talk to me, I remind them of these things if they're having a hard time. Because sometimes I also have a very difficult time remembering this. Life is never going to be an easy thing for any of us, right? Even the rich have to deal with hardships of life. Even the powerful have to deal with the hardships of life. Even the most experienced people have to deal with the hardships of their knowledge and life. These things come naturally. But if you have a goal set in mind, and you have a path straightforward towards this goal set in stone, then the task is a lot simpler than you may think. Maybe you missed it. Let me reiterate this and make it a little bit simpler for you. Life is never easy. But it is always simple. Now, what do I mean by that specifically? Well, there are hardships in life, difficult tasks to uh, get ourselves through, whether it be uh, a simple day at work or a breakup with a girlfriend or boyfriend or maybe an argument with a family member. Maybe it could be the easiest thing you deal with, or maybe it could be the hardest thing in your life, regardless it will never be truly as easy as you would want it to be. However, the task at hand, if you keep your goals in mind, is always simple. What you're going through right now, it could be grief, it could be anger, it could be sadness, it could be disappointment, it could be, well, a lack of motivation. Sure, it's a difficult thing to push through, but you have a goal in mind, right? Well, maybe not yet, but that's all right. Then set a goal in your mind. Think about it. Tell yourself, what do I really want? What healthy things do I need? And what is going to get me there? Hmm. Suddenly, you have a goal slowly forming in the back of your mind. And once you're done setting that goal up and acknowledging where you need to go, a straight path forward begins to unfold to you. And from there, well, a straight path is a simple one. 100% of people who live their lives as thoroughly as possible will never truly achieve happiness until their goals are set in stone and they have been achieved properly. To not have a goal is to, well, feel a lack of purpose when clearly you have one already. Whatever the purpose may be is to be determined by yourself and by whatever God has for you, but still, you get the point. There is a reason that you're here, there is a goal set, and if you want to get to that goal, make sure you're acknowledging it in the right manner. Don't let yourself be so disappointed in yourself for the things you may have 
screwed up in the past. Not like I have. We all have failures that we need to get through. It takes mistakes to find corrections and solutions, of course. We all know that. So, what mistakes are really holding you back as far as you think they are? Let's dig into it. There are plenty of things in the past that cannot be undone. Maybe you've casted yourself upon something that you were not ready for. Maybe you messed up a couple of relationships and truly will not have a chance to get them back. Maybe you did something illegal and you can't exactly take that back either. Sure, that's understandable. But people say the past is the past for a reason, right? How long are you going to let these mistakes hold you back? That is not a rhetorical question, by the way. You should be answering this to yourself. Whether it be out loud or in your head, I don't care. How long are you going to hold yourself back? You know nothing else is restricting you, right? Only you have control of your own life. Even in the aspects where you feel trapped, you could be stuck in a household where you have very little to no control, but your own mindset is what's holding you back. No matter the cost, no matter the scenario, no matter the environment, no matter the situation, your own mind is what holds you back firmly. Nothing else. So if you can break out of the negativity mindset that you're stuck in, what really holds you back any further than that? Plenty of people who are rich and wealthy and completely successful in life find themselves to be in utter depressive states. Plenty of people who have little to no money and find themselves in very weak shelters and very financially unstable can be some of the happiest people in the world. Your physical environment does have an impact on your mindset, but you control it. You control what you keep in the front of your mind. No one else, nothing else. There will always be unconscious thoughts that stay in the back of our minds for a few hours, a few days, weeks, months, maybe even years. But the things that we prioritize are things that we control. No one else, nothing else. Just ourselves. So what thoughts, what mindsets, what goals are you going to prioritize? Speaking of goals, I'd like to thank you personally for supporting and listening to this podcast. The more you do, the more we continue to grow the collective family. <laughs> hey, if you're not a part of the collective family, then what are you waiting for? The collective is the community of the wolf, and we all gather around on TikTok or on Discord to communicate and have a great, safe, fun time talking to each other, hanging out. Some people even play games or watch movies together all the time. If you haven't joined the Discord server, then check it out. The link in the description will have access to it. You'll find it in my personal card website. If you've wanted to interact with me and my friends and the family and the collective server, then just visit us at the Discord at discord.gg forward slash doctormake. That's discord.gg forward slash capital D R capital M A Y K H. See you there. There are always going to be many people who are out here that don't understand or acknowledge who or what I am specifically, so I'll clarify a little bit. <laughs> Greetings, this is The Wolf, and I am your podcast host. But not only that, I am a striving voice actor, and uh, I love to finick around with audio software, such as Adobe Audition. It's my favorite software to finick around with. I also finick around with voice meter potato and things of that sort, and I love, love, love nitpicking at certain audios whenever it tends to itch at my brain a little bit. Maybe it's the ADHD, or maybe some sort of ODD or something of the sort. Regardless of the detail, that's kind of my hyperfixation every now and again, if I'm not sitting back and relaxing with friends or my girlfriend online here. Yes, I do have a relationship that has been online for two years, Hi, Pom Pom. I love you. Mwah. There are many difficulties when it comes to managing relationships, especially online. And they don't even have to be romantic. They can be mutual friendships. They can be acquaintanceships. They can be anything of the sort. I've had quite a few friends online in my life so far. Some of them I've even known for about maybe six to seven years so far and still talk with them to this day. You know who you are. I love you.
Regardless, how do we keep these relationships alive? Well, the same way that you keep any relationship alive in real life, you keep managing to connect with each other over the, well, small minor things and maybe connected with each other in the bigger things later on in life. There's really nothing major about a relationship. I really think that relationships and friendships of any sort can be contained by the smallest visits and the smallest cameos in life. I have plenty of friends who come back and hang out with me for a little while, maybe a couple days or weeks even, and then disappear on to find something else to do. Then later on they may come right back to me and say, hey, what's up, it's been a while. And I think that's perfectly okay. You don't necessarily have to be best friends with anyone. I think mutual friendships as well are also going to be like that, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I mean, what's wrong with having a few people that know you and, well, have you on good terms with them? That is also why I started the collective server. The community in general is meant for interactions like that. People make their cameos and appear for a moment, step in and have a great time, and then step out and continue on with their lives. And they're always welcome back, whether it be a couple days later or a couple months later. I'm sorry if you can hear my little sister's dog in the background, by the way. <laughs> How unprofessional. Please excuse that. Regardless, where was I? You were speaking about friendship, sir. But beforehand, you were also describing yourself. Reintroducing yourself. No, that's right. Thanks, Doc. And speaking of friends and introductions, allow me to introduce to you Dr. Make. He's my virtual AI assistant, quote-unquote. Helps me out with a lot of things here, and helps me stay in character, and adds a little bit more fun to the mix. Isn't that right, Doc? Absolutely, sir. Greetings. I am Dr. Make, the personal AI and assistant program of The Wolf. Sometimes it's good to come up with your own manners of having fun, whether it be characters or introductions or anything of the sort. Hence the character, Dr. Make. He's actually, uh, born from the Discord link. That Discord link that you heard me mention earlier was what helped me come up with the name in general. I think Dr. Make just suits him, you know? He's a little extra passion of mine, all for voice acting and gimmicks. And if you have a passion or a gimmick that you want to throw out there, well, don't keep it hidden for too long. Use it. Have fun with it. Whether it be for the public or just yourself, don't be ashamed of your gimmicks and your pieces of fun that you may have. Hell, I encourage you to continue with your creation, continue with your fun, and share it with the public as often as you'd like. There are plenty of people in the world who are striving to create something, make something, share something with the world, but they're holding themselves back because what would the audience think? Well, that's not exactly what matters. If some of your audience has a negative attitude towards your creations or your things that you're sharing with the world, well, then they're not your target audience. But just because those kinds of people are out there doesn't mean you should let that stop you or let that hold you back from sharing something that could be fantastic for others. Just because some people don't enjoy the taste of a certain thing doesn't mean that others don't. Are you going to hold back chocolate chip muffins from me just because my mother may not like them or something? Hmm. Well, that's not very fair to me. I enjoy what you bake. I enjoy what you create. So why not make it for me? Why not make it for the rest of your community? Make content, make things that you strive for, make anything that you're passionate about for the target audience. And for those who don't think very highly of the skill or things that you may be sharing, well, it's none of your business. They're entitled to their own thoughts and they can have their own preferences and, well, if it's not something that they're enjoying, then it's none of your concern. Just wait until they scroll away or... Step on back and continue what you are doing. Your target audience is who you should be concerned about. Not anyone else. Just you and your target audience. Because the people who are waiting to be blessed with the skill or shares that you have for the rest of the world are waiting for you. And only you as an individual. Even if you do something that many people do as well, you have your own unique style and some people are just waiting to be blessed with it. Push yourself. Let yourself be motivated. Do what you enjoy. It's worth it. I don't know about you, but I have to wake up.
wake up rather early for my shift at work tomorrow, so I want to make sure I'm staying nice and calm and relaxed and prepared for that shift. Maybe you're having trouble staying calm or relaxing yourself for something in the future. Well, join me in a quick breathing exercise. Let's think about what exactly we have going on in the future. What exactly have we had going on in the past? How do these things compare? How important are these things to us? Breathe and relax. Take a breath and follow my lead. Breathe in. And breathe out. What are the three most things that you're worried about today? If you can't count to three, well, that's a good thing. No, no. If you can't count to three, then, well, you might need to go back to kindergarten. I mean, if you can't count to three worries that you can think of off the top of your head, then that's a good thing. <laughs> Very good. But if you do, then that's perfectly fine as well. Keep those in mind and inhale with me one more time. And out. Let the worries breathe themselves away from the rest of your mind. Give yourself some fair space to play with. You need to relax. You deserve to relax. Keep yourself in check. It's worth your time and energy to continue striving with the things that you're dealing with, but it's definitely not worth worrying too much. Am I right? Of course I am. I'm always right. <laughs> Let's breathe in one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, breathe in, and out. Suddenly, the pain and the nerves and the worries wash away. Very good. I'm proud of you. You're doing fantastic today. Keep at it, all right? If not for yourself, then for me. Man, my voice is still a little bit shot up. Can you tell? <laughs> Uh, the collaboration with Hyro wasn't the only thing that I was recording earlier. I actually was recording for another little passion project of mine, but couldn't quite get it the way that I wanted, so had to scrap it for now. Don't you worry. I'll continue working on it, and maybe continue to strive with this idea that I had. For now, though, I think I'm going to take a break. We're still very early in with this podcast, so we'll keep some episodes short for now, unless you'd like them to be longer. But that's something you can communicate to me in the comments below. Thank you so very much for listening. Hey, if you're listening to this on Spotify, make sure you take a moment to click on the description of the podcast and rate this just as many stars as you think it deserves. A five-star rating is always appreciated, and it helps the algorithm just a little bit more. Leave your comments on either YouTube or Spotify on this episode below, and let me know what you think. Should we keep the episodes going longer? Maybe shorter? What else should we focus on in life? What else would you like to hear the wolf speak about? I'm all ears. Whenever I'm not speaking, that is. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Thank you so much for listening to episode two of the Words with the Wolf podcast. Whether it be on YouTube or Spotify, I appreciate your visit. Remember, there is a link in the description of this podcast to get to my card website. And in that website, you'll find everything that has to do with the wolf. Whether it be to commission me and hire me for voiceover work of your own projects, or if you want to visit my other social medias or Discord server, I'll be there. Visit the card today. That's enough from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. Look forward to more content like this in the future, and make sure to comment what you think I should speak about in the next episode. Bless your hearts. And until next time, my family, 